PIR motion sensor. Little two dollar device, can be purchased on eBay and whatnot. Very Arduino compatible. Very simple to use. Probably one of the simplest devices I'm probably ever going to show how to hook up. Anyway, it's very simple. There's a little uh, infrared sensor here that detects temperature. Little funky optics that cause a flickering effect as, as anything moves in front of them. Um, some little sensitivity pots, which by default are set quite nicely to detect humans moving around a room. And three wires. Got a ground, voltage in, and a um, little sense wire. And the voltage in can be 5 volts, which is wonderful for most Arduino devices. And uh, you can set these pots here to detect smaller things and cooler things, say maybe moving wildlife or something like that. But if you do adjust them, take note of your original settings so that you can easily go back to a place that you know that works. Anyway, we've got here a uh, Arduino Nano. This could be any Arduino to connect to this that puts out 5 volts, but um, we're not going to be using I to C or anything complicated, so we just need a digital input pin, which basically all the Arduinos have. So very quick and simple wiring. We go red to 5 volts. Ground to ground. And I've chosen digital input pin number 5 for sensing. So now we'll fire a sketch into here. See the sketch go in. It's a very small sketch. Very simple. And with this particular sketch, I've got um, uh, the LED pin. So that's this bottom pin right here. This bottom one here is detecting motion. As you can see, I moved over with the screwdriver and it detected that. And that's what it's going to do. Whenever motion is detected, it will... Uh, my hand's sort of staying in the zone, so it's not changing the temperature. But when we move... When we move my hand, oops, there we go, my hand's coming in and out, you can't really see it, it's off camera right. Okay, my hand moves in, sensor goes on, my hand moves out, sensor goes off. Eventually, I think I'm jiggling it a little bit, just causing a certain amount of motion, but this will sense, there we go, me pretty well across the room. And it's pretty good. You can use this for lights turning on and off, alarm systems, just about anything you could want in the way of needing an input where motion of a warm body is being detected. It might not detect something like a cold car, though, or um, movement of tree branches or anything. Anyway, this is such a short video that I'm going to end it with a bit of a strange question. And that is, what would you like to see next? We've got uh, cameras. We've got ultrasonic sensors. We've got gyroscopes. We've got GPS systems. Uh, Bluetooth. Uh, just about anything. Wi-Fi. RFID sensors. TFT touch screens, I mean anything you want to see next, I can make the video. So whatever you'd like to see, we've got um, lots of components that we can make a video for to uh, entertain and educate. Anyway, just leave a comment saying what you'd like to see next or any questions about this particular video. Thank you very much.